crime ends in a trap that justice sets. Crime does not pay. The administration office, I'm out today. Hello? Hello? Hello, how can Yes, hello, how can I help you? I got a, um, a voicemail thing to call this number on my... to call this number about my social security card number. When did you receive a phone call, sir? About five minutes ago. Did you receive any kind of case ID number or your friend's number? No, no. All right. Okay. So first of all, may I know that whom I'm, whom I'm speaking with? This is Mo, M-O-E, Lester, L-E-S-T-E-R, Mo Lester. Mo Lester? Yes. You find me your date of birth, sir? 3-16-1950. Yes. All right. Hold on for a moment. Let me check in my systems. What's going all about you, okay? Uh -huh. All right, Mo. Thank you for holding the line. Yes. So, Mo, have you ever lost your identity, or have you ever been seeing your social numbers to anyone else? No, no. All right. See, your social has been found some suspicious of criminal activities in the state of Texas. Did you have any knowledge about this? No. All right. So maybe someone is using your personal information without your knowledge. You don't have any idea. No, I don't have any idea. Who, who would do that? I don't know. Have you ever shared your social numbers to any family members, friends, neighbors? Well, no. Why would I give it to anybody else? It's mine. I would never do All that. Right. See, the, see, the reasons we are trying to contact you today was informed you regarding some legal enforcement actions file on your social. We have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment. My because social? we have found many suspicious... Yes, suspicious activities done in your social state of Texas. So have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Years ago, I used to work down there. I worked at a, a baby buggy factory down there. I used to put the wheels in the baby buggies. But that was back in the in 80s. Texas, that was back in the 80s. In El Paso, Texas, have you ever been there? Yeah, that's where I used to work down there. I told you, at the baby buggy factory. Put the wheels right. on. Put the wheels on so, the baby buggies. I was the wheel man. <laughs> all right. So in order to pull up the cash file, what's going on about you? Who have used your personal information without your knowledge? So you have to verify me your social security number for verification. Don't you guys have it? So we have all about your information, but I'm speaking with the right person or wrong person. So in order to pull up the cash file, what's going on about you? So you have to verify me your social number for verification purpose. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Zero. Say slowly, say slowly. Zero eight six. One zero one four six three. One zero one four. Huh? What? Zero eight zero eight six one zero one four six three. Correct. That's it. All right. Hold on for a moment. Let me check in my systems. What's going all about you? Oh, okay. All right, sir. Thank you for holding the line. Yes. So, sir, I want you to grab a pen and a paper and write down my information for your future reference. Okay, go ahead. Are you ready to grab a pen and a paper? I did. Write down my name. This is Officer Andrew Saul. Andrew who? Saul. Saul. S-O-L? S-O-U-L. Oh, Saul. So. Okay. Write down my batch ID number, federal batch ID number. Okay. 7426. 093. Now write down your case ID number, DC7010. So, sir, now I will just go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. Before, do not interrupt me in between while I am speaking, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood as well as some amounts of drug inside the car. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name of your personal information. I didn't rent no and there car was two Texas, address sir. Which, and there was two addresses which was linked with the title of the vehicle. One of the addresses led us to the state of Pennsylvania, to the city of Rowlett. It not, was an apartment which was lived by the Rowlett. U.S. Marshal. Pennsylvania? Listen, sir, listen I don't know anything about Pennsylvania or Texas. I don't know. 
We know that uh, you are a genuine person. We take your passport and we take your genuine content record. So listen carefully. Okay. And there was two address which was linked with the title of the vehicle. One of the address led us to the state of Pennsylvania to the city of Raleigh. It was an apartment which was read by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. Huh. But they got success to recover eight to nine pounds of cocaine, which 89. is an addictive drug and some documented documentations of financial pounds. institute, okay. such as Charles Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, TD Bank, TD Bank, that's Bank, my bank, and many more banks. That's my bank. In this entire paper, what case your okay. bank? Listen, sir, what okay. I'm saying. Okay. But Tiddy Bank is my bank, in this so... Entire, okay. okay. In this entire paper, what has your name? Thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally. Which is suspicious to us that is the reason we as a social security administration case file against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. So yes. Did you have any knowledge about this case? No, that's why I called you. All right. At this moment, if you have to the Department of DEA, that is called Drug Enforcement Administration, then only we can put your arrest warrant on hold. As you have to find a real culprit who have used your personal information without your knowledge. Yeah, put my arrest so warrant on hold. To oh, no, no, I can't get arrested here. So are you willing to cooperate the Department of DEA, which is the arrest yes, 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 yes. Put me down as cooperating. All right, hold on for a moment. Let me connect this line to my senior officer. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been connected to me. My name is Lisa. So can I know with whom I'm speaking with? Mo Lester. All right. So I believe, sir, that the gentleman talking with you before, he already provided you rega this case regarding with your social security number. Am I correct? Something about Texas and something about Pennsylvania, but I don't know anything about either of those places. Okay, so you never been in the Texas, never been in the state of Pennsylvania, right? I was in Texas years ago. Year, I used to work down there in a baby buggy factory, putting the wheels on baby buggies, but that was like the 1980s. I haven't been down there since. Okay, so first of all, so before we go ahead, before I provide you this information again, so can you just verify with me one more time your social security number? Zero eight six one zero one four six three. All right. And this call has been connected to me, sir, regarding the case which has been registered into your name for drug trafficking and money laundering. That's what the other guy And said. there is also an. I don't know anything about that yes. stuff. Okay. And there is an arrest warrant under your name, and we do have the authorization to suspend your social security number. No, that's what I live on, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, that's what I live on, social security. Okay. So how can you suspend it? That's what I don't understand. Okay. Because there are all the documentation, all the paperwork that we have found from the state of Texas and the another one in the address of the state of Pennsylvania that we found that it's all under your name. Right, but it wasn't me. And I only get Social right. Security to live on because there, there, uh, there was no retirement or anything from the baby buggy factory. So you mean to say that you just get, uh, you just Social Security? Get your funds from the Social Security. That's all I right? get, yes. Okay, so, uh, but you said that you all do work in baby baggy factory, right? Baby buggy factory. So how much factory. do you get it from there? I, I don't get any retirement from there. Your retirement from there? No, I don't, because there was no union or anything. We just had to work as hard as we could putting the wheels on the baby buggies. Okay, but, um... Before we will suspend your social security number, sir, as it has been found for many illegal activities, and apart from that, there are several bank accounts and credit cards which have been opened with your name and your social security number, where there is a lot of illegal transaction which has been done locally and internationally. Okay, but it wasn't me. Yes, as all right, and we found that more than 10 bank accounts have opened under your name, so we don't know whether you have more than 10 bank accounts or no, not. No, I don't have 10 so that, bank accounts. So that is the reason the government have decided to shut down all the bank accounts to suspend your social and to freeze all, to freeze all your assets. I, oh my God. 
I get $800 a month from Social Security. That's all I get. And now you're going to take it away from me because somebody else did something with my number. Okay. As you're saying to me that you are not the one who's doing all those things, all right, and make sure, sir, that the line that we are talking right now it is a federally monitored and recorded line. It has been monitored and recorded by the federal court house. Okay. As you say that you are not the one, as you are claiming that you are not the one who's doing all those I stuff, not, criminal no. stuff. So, all right. So the first step that we need to get the case file and the arrest warrant cancelled. Right. And for that, we need an evidence to prove you innocent inside the courthouse. You need a what? But your social security, we, we a, need an sorry. evidence to prove you. Yes, and we need an evidence to prove you innocent inside the courthouse, as you say that you are not the one who doing all the criminal me things, innocent. right? Okay. Yes. Prove me innocent. Yes. I didn't do it. Put me down. Right. Put me but down as social, innocent. Yes. But your social security number will be suspended because the culprit who has been using your social, they will definitely try to use it again, which is not safe for you. But once the arrest warrant get cancelled, once your name will be clear from this case, then we can generate a new social security number for you. Then I'll get my social security check every month again? Yes. Okay. Okay. So in order to get to generate a new social, I have to fill up a form which is called SS5. It is an application form for your new social security number where I will be asking you some questions regarding your assets and you have to verify some needful information with me, okay? Yes. All right. My first question is that the house that you are living in, it is your own house or you, you rent it? Oh, it's my own house. Okay. And do you have a car under your name? Yes. So how many cars do you have? Just one. Just one. It's okay. A, it's a 98 Buick LeSabre. All right. So um, how many bank accounts do you have, sir? One bank I deal with, and then I have a checking and a small savings account there. All right. As a federal agent, we are authorized to get any personalized banking information over the phone from anyone, but no account number, no routing number, no debit card number will be asked, okay? That's I good. need to know that what is... Yes. So I need to know what is the name of the bank that you are banking with. Titty Bank. I told the other fellow, Titty Bank. All right. It's TD Bank. So in TD Bank, you have um, uh, checking and saving, right? Yes. Okay. So how much do you have in checking, about, approximately? About 300. And 300. And what about the saving? Probably 600. I try to put a little bit aside out of my Social Security every month in case I need medicine. Okay. And do you have any investment under your name? No, no. All I get is Social Security. I don't have an investment. Okay, and do you have a credit card? Yes, I do. All right, so how many do you have a credit card? Just one. I got a MasterCard through the TD Bank. All right, you got only a MasterCard, right? Yes. So how much the limit of that MasterCard? 3000 3000 And how much do you owe it to them? Three I got it maxed out. I owe them everything. Max out. Yes. Okay. All right. So can I have your residing address, sir? Yes. 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. All right. It's 100 Main Street, New York, 13118, right? Yes. All right. So um, just give me a moment, okay? Okay. Let me forward this information to the uh, higher authority. Okay, yes. Thank you for holding the line, sir. Okay. Okay. So now, sir, uh, I got, we got the, uh, the information from the federal courthouse and from the higher authority. They said that um, so in order to resolve this case, okay, so you, in order to clear yes. your name from okay, the yes. uh, clear my name. fraudulent activity. Yes. Okay. Yes. There are two conditions, okay? There are two conditions, which is publicly and privately. Okay. The one condition that, the first condition is publicly and the second condition is privately.
where I'm going to explain you the difference between public and private, okay? And then you let me know if you want to resolve this public or privately. According to your decision, we are going to proceed with this case, okay? Okay. okay. All right. So first I will explain it to you, uh, the first condition that is publicly. It means that uh, we have to inform about this case to your state police department, local police department, to the IRS, FBI, your bank people. And in this case, has to publish, and this case has to publish in a local newspaper. Wait, you're going to put my name in the local, you're going to put my name in the newspaper? Sir, I'm just explaining the to you the condition. I don't want my name in the Moravia no. Times. Oh. Mr. Luster. Yes. Yes, Mr. Luster, the thing is, I'm just going to explain it to you, these two conditions, okay? okay? So, first, you have to listen it very carefully. I'm nervous. So now, I'm going to explain. I'm very nervous. Publicly, it means that we have to inform about this case yes, to your state police you department. Yes, I know. You just told me that, yes. But, yes to the IRS, FBI, your bank people, and this case has to be published in a local newspaper where each and every asset will be seized by the government, and you are going to get arrested. Uh, that is get arrested? Question number one. I'm 71 years old. Yes. I can't get arrested. Okay. And the second condition, that is privately, okay? Privately, it means that until and unless the arrest warrant get cancelled, until you get your new social security number, you are not supposed to discuss or disclose about this case to anyone like your friends, family members, neighborhood, colleagues, or the bank people, as we don't know who is the culprit, it can be anyone close to you. By keeping it private, you are protecting yourself because if, if the culprit will come to know that we are looking for them, they will run away from the situation. Oh, I don't want them running that away. I want you private. to catch them. So which uh, condition will go? The first condition or the second condition? Let's go with private. I don't want my name in the Moravia Times. All right. If you say that you are uh, going privately, you want to resolve this case yes. privately, you want to yes. get back your uh, your name from yes. that fraudulent activity, then yes. you have to maintain in the Privacy Act, okay? Because at this point of time, we haven't informed to anyone else, and no one knows that you're having this trouble. Okay. Okay. Yes. So right now, uh, can I know where are you right now? I'm home. You are at home. Okay. So the line that we are talking right now, it is your, uh, we are talking from your cell phone, right? Yes, I had to get rid of my house phone. They couldn't afford it. All I got is a cell phone. It's a flip phone. Okay. And the number phone of yours, the telephone number is 641-289-2550. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Have you done the online shopping, sir, before? Yes, I go to Amazon. I, in fact, I get some of my uh, medication from Amazon. It's cheaper. Okay. All right. So in order to resolve this case privately, there are some rules and regulations which you need to follow. And the first step which you need to take is that you have to save and secure your bank account because the government, they have decided to shut down all the bank accounts which has been linked with your Should I go name get my, all my money out? I now. should go get all my money out then, right? I should do that. Right. First, of all, I will ex First of all, I will explain it to you, okay? Then okay. and then. Okay. okay. So if you want to secure, all right, so if you want to secure your bank account, the government, they are not allowed you to keep money in your account or in terms of cash, more than $100. The balance that you are supposed to keep, it should be $100 or less than that. Apart from that, the rest of the amount, you have to withdraw it in terms of okay. cash. I'll and you need to out. save and secure take, that money. I'll yes. take it out and bring and, it home. Right. All right. Okay, I'll go get it. And you need to save and secure that money with the government into a safety voucher which has been provided to you which is like an electronic card or electronics bond, 
where okay. you can get it from some certified store nearby you. And you need to load or convert this, that money into those safety voucher where you have to keep it very safe with you for 24 hours until you get your new social security number. Why don't I just then, take the money out and bring I, it home? I don't understand why I have to do all this voucher. But the thing is that, sir, the government, they are not allowed you to keep the money also in time of cash. I can't have cash? After you, you said it, that you will go and take out the money and bring it home, right? Yes, yes. Yes, but the government, sir, they are not allowed to you to keep uh, money in home or in time of cash, okay? Huh. If they found that, if they found that you are doing like that, you are facing, you will be facing a trouble. I don't want trouble. No, I'll, okay. Okay. All right. Then what you have to do, uh, then I will register those safety vouchers onto your name as I need to attach with your documentation in order to submit inside the courthouse so that we can cross-verify that all the funds which you are having or holding is your legal funds. Once your funds will be legalized, at that time we can drop the charges from your name and cancel the arrest warrant. Then we are going to generate a new... Get, get out, get out, get out, get out, Ted. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, so then we can going to generate a new social security number for you. We are going to fix an appointment for you with one of the officers from the social security office who will be coming to your place with a scanning machine and they will be scanning the barcode of the safety voucher. At that time, you will get a catcher's check of the same amount along with the documentation and with a new social security number, all right? Okay. Okay. Do you have an access banking on uh, on your phone, sir? No, no, I have a flip phone. I told you that. Okay. So um, what you need to do out now, so you have to go to your bank and you have to withdraw it in time of cash, okay? I thought you told so me not to get the cash. The you told me not to take it out. No. No, you have to go and withdraw from your bank in time of cash. Then and then after that, you have to go some to a certified location and you have to save this money in that in that safety voucher or uh, a safety what's a, bond. What's, what's, a, uh, 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 what's the location where I get this thing? I will let you know, see, if I come, uh, if I say it to you now, you will be get confused, okay? I don't want to get confused, okay. Yes, that is the reason. I will stay online with you all the time. Okay. So what you need to do now, make ready and go to your bank and withdraw all uh, the money, okay? Okay. In time of cash. Okay. So how uh, how far from your ho uh, from home to your bank? It's only down the road. It's not that far away. To the bank. Okay. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go to my bank now? Yeah, yes, you have to go to your bank. Take all my money out and put it in the voucher, right? And then, then I'll be safe. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that voucher also, after you get from the certified location, you have to keep it very safely with you because we will fix an appointment with you tomorrow, um, tomorrow or today evening so that... Um, the officer from the social security office, they will come and they will scan the barcode of that voucher. So th that money that you're holding will be legalized at, it is your legal funds of yours, okay? Oh, okay. So we will, yes, so that we will transfer back that money from that voucher to your checking account or your saving account, whatever you want, okay? Okay. So I have to go take all my all money right. out and give it to you. In, yes. the, in the voucher. No. No, it's not like that. You are not giving it to me. But the thing is that you have to save it to yourself. All right. All right. You want me to go out to my car? Yes. You have to get ready and you have to go to your bank now. Okay. I'll, I'll take a walk out. So, hello? Yes. Mr. Lester? Yes. Yes. Once, once you get ready, 
once you are out from your house then I uh, carry your pen and a paper all right and uh, the documentation everything is important is needed you can carry that once you are leaving then you just say to me that you are leaving uh, towards your bank okay 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 I'll go I'll go now all right all right okay I'm going yes hello okay I'm going all right so what you need to do you have to keep oh, your oh, me on speaker huh? yes you have to keep me in speaker phone okay okay so you uh, keep your phone next to passenger seat so don't talk to me while driving but once you reach the bank then you just update me that you reach to the bank okay okay I'll, all right My car won't start. Okay. Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Okay, I'm at the bank. So you reach at the bank, right? Yeah, it's, it's only a couple blocks away. I, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what you need to do is that you have to go to your bank and you have to withdraw all the money, okay? But make sure, as you say, that you choose by yourself that you want to go private, private right? You want to uh, clear your name so privately, right? So I tell them right? that I got, I got to get vouchers, right? Do they have vouchers no. there in the bank? Do they have vouchers in here? No. 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 Okay. So I tell them I, I got to take okay, my money so out to get vouchers, right? Yes. Okay. So, but maintain the privacy act, okay? But if you let you know, if you tell the bank people, the bank people, they won't allow you to take out all the money, but directly they will freeze your account, so you won't get any longer to use your um, account. Okay. All right? I am going in the so bank. So remember to... All right, so remember to keep the privacy act. Privacy Act, right, because you don't want them to know that yes. you're stealing my money, right, you scamming bastard bitch? Huh? Huh? Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Hey, Rundy. Rundy. I'm talking to you, you thieving bastard. Hello? Yes. You're going to take my last fucking $900, you scamming thieving bitch? Huh? Is that what you were going to do? We're not able to take your yeah, call right now. you fuck. Goodbye. All characters, names, places, and plots used in your program are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> <laughs>